Jenna from Stack. So today we're actually in Little India to take a look at a three-room flat from the 80s that has been completely revamped into a modern theme. The homeowners conceptualize the design mainly on their own and they prioritize a multi-dimensional hosting space with a unique play on curves throughout this home. But let's get right to it and begin this tour. So let me just start out with a quick background about this home. This three-room flat was originally 770 square feet in size and it features two bedrooms and two baths. Prior to moving in in March 2022, the young couple actually purchased the excess corridor space from HDV, extending their entire living area to 995 square feet. They've also spent about 60k in renovations to transform the interior into what you see here today. But okay, enough of that, let us start off at the entryway. Stepping into the home, you have double glazed windows on one side and a shoe rack come display counter on the other plus a curved vantage point from the kitchen above. So this was originally the recess corridor which the homeowners have purchased from HDB for a price of $30,000 and this helps to extend the entryway. The floor here is also overlaid in large Italian tiles and this spreads through the entire first level. So at the end of the corridor, we have the dining area. The homeowner has shared that since he often takes clients home and organizes poker nights from time to time, it was important to have a specific hosting area carved out in his home. It currently fits an eight-seater Italian ceramic table with bench seatings on one side to reduce spatial clutter. And we've also got a two-prong pendant light right above it, fitted nicely under this curved ball ceiling. On the other end, there is the former safety barrier wall which was shaved down to create a rounded parapet and this also acts as a partition between the dining and living. So as we ascend the stairs to the living room, you'll find more built-in cabinetry to the side. The floor is overlaid in a herringbone wood vinyl, immediately giving it a more cosy feel. So here in the living room, it is demarcated by this large rectangular grey rug. It currently fits a three-seater cream sofa, plus we've got these dual circular coffee tables right in the middle. And you start to see pops of colour here as well. We've got this bright standing droop lamp, along with the contemporary art piece behind, making this space just feel a whole lot livelier. So on this side, we have a glass cabinet that helps to showcase the homeowner's alcohol collection. And right across from the sofa, there is a marble look console with a large protractable 75-inch TV that can be adjusted to face the dining area. The entrance to the kitchen is fashioned in an arch and we've got geometric black and white floor tiles over here that gives the kitchen a fun yet classical feel. We've got electrical appliances and storage options evenly distributed across this kitchen and we've even got DIY pack boards flanking both sides of the dry countertop serving as a creative way to store your heavily used kitchen items. As the homeowner is a coffee enthusiast, he often finds himself utilising this dry counter and he wanted to have a view while making his coffee. So the art chair does just that, it helps to open up the space, also allowing for extra light to flow into the kitchen. At the far end, we've got a three-burner gas hob that's set against the white subway tile backsplash. There's also a dedicated area over here with a washer and dryer, plus an extendable rack above for easy access. Right next to it is the common bathroom. So the walls are overlaid in a similar white subway tile and there's even a dedicated shower area. Moving on to the rooms, you'll immediately notice that the homeowners have opted for a curved French door with reader glass. This is for additional privacy and also to allow light to flow in. Overhead, there is this watchdial inspired lamp that helps to further complement the aesthetics of this space. Coming in, this room currently acts as a study. There is a relatively long entryway with open shelving on one side for the owners to store some of their items. And at the far end, we've got two tables set up side by side with a view of the old school low rise HDB blocks serving as a backdrop. And adjacent to the study, you have the master bedroom. You'll find the master bath right by the entrance and it's separated by this frosted glass sliding door. The walls are covered in a textured tile, there is a marble-like countertop plus an organic shape mirror right above it. 
Moving on to the rest areas, this room is relatively spacious. We've got plenty of built-in wardrobes on both sides and a king-size bed in the middle. There are also these lantern-like scone lights on both ends and the homeowners have managed to fit in a mini vanity in the corner along with a nook carved into the side. So we've now come to the end of the tour. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I did. If you'd like to read more about this development, you can head on over to stackedhomes.com slash editorial. And as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave us a comment, and hit that notification bell for updates on future videos. That's all that I have for you today. We'll see you in the next one.